Hi guys, this is Simon Stuck, and in this video we'll be looking at ionic bonding. So ionic compounds are usually formed when metals react with non-metals. It is the metals which form positive ions and the non-metals which form negative ions. The ions formed are held next to each other by strong forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions. This electrostatic force of attraction, which acts in all directions, is called ionic bonding. The ionic bonds between charged particles result in an arrangement of ions called a giant structure or a giant lattice, and this can be seen in a video I'll link down below. Sometimes the atoms reacting need to gain or lose two electrons to gain a stable structure, and this can be seen with the example of magnesium and oxygen. Magnesium has an electronic structure of 282, and oxygen has an electronic structure of 26. When these two react, they form magnesium oxide. This is made with magnesium ions with a double positive charge, Mg2+, and oxide ions with a double negative charge, O2-. And this can be seen on the screen right now. Now this is an example of a dot and cross diagram, and in your exam you may be asked to draw one of these. So on the magnesium ion, the crosses are represented, and the dots are represented on the oxide ions. Now when a reaction has happened, Magnesium loses its two alpha electrons to complete its final shell, and these two alpha electrons are represented and shown on the oxide ions, which completes its alpha shell with these two electrons. This means that they both have a stable electronic structure and the reaction is complete. So different groups in the periodic table form differently charged ions. For example, group 1 form 1 plus ions, group 2 form 2 plus ions, group 3 form 3 plus ions, group 4 do not form ions, Group 5 form 3 minus ions, group 6 form 2 minus ions, group 7 form 2 minus ions, and group 0, or it may be referred to as group 8, never form ions in compounds. Now that's it for the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you learned something new it would be great if you could drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.